Good morning. Welcome to Foster Family Fun. I'm LaToya. Today, I'm out and about early this morning. I am about to get ready to go to Walmart and do some Thanksgiving grocery shopping and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. But first, I am going to check on the chickens, make sure their water is okay, they have enough food for right now. Usually Rory checks on the chickens bright and early in the morning before he goes to work, but today he left super early because he has PT. So I want to make sure I check on them before I head out this morning. Rory? Get your jacket, buddy, and come on out here and help mommy check on the chickens, okay? All right. So, little Rory has this week off of school. It is their Thanksgiving break. So, of course, he's up bright and early every morning when he doesn't have to go to school and he does his favorite thing, run downstairs to his playroom and watch TV. Now, every morning of school I have to actually go in his room and wake him up in the morning so he can get ready for school so I don't know you guys know y'all out there who have little kids I'm sure they probably do the same exact thing so you guys the chickens are holding up really well all they pretty much do is eat they love being out here on the grass they love picking for bugs um, just the freedom to roam around and even though we've had some temperatures that dropped pretty low around like in the 30s at night it has not bothered them whatsoever they are doing great out here all right we're gonna just check on their water make sure they have enough water and um, make sure they just have enough water just for right now you want to grab their water bin Every time they see us coming out here, they are ready, super, super ready because they, they think that out. we're going to get food. Or they want to get out. Oh, yeah, or they try to get out. I think their food is fine. We're just going to give them some more fresh water, okay? Okay. All right. Ow. That hurt it. They pecked you? Yep. Those chickens, they so greedy. They probably thought your finger was some food. poop on there too. Yeah, they do have poop on here. They always have poop on here. All they do is eat, drink, and poop. That is pretty much their daily routine. Most, mostly eating. All right, we got the chicken some fresh water for this morning. We change it several times throughout the day just so they can have fresh, clean water because they do a lot of pooping on everything. But got that done, so now I am going to head to Walmart and do some Thanksgiving dinner grocery shopping. I'm hoping to get in and out of this Walmart real quick, get what I need and keep it moving before it gets too crowded. That's why I'm here early this morning. Let me get my list out real quick. Keep my list on the notes section of my phone so I know exactly what I need to get in here. Oh, they got all the collars already right out in the front. They know people gonna be in collars in the smoke port neck bones. I know I'm in the south for sure because they didn't have nothing laid out like this when I lived in California. So I was going back and forth or whether I was going to make collard greens or green beans and I decided that I'm going to make some green beans.
I'm done grocery shopping in Walmart and it's starting to get crowded over there anyway so I'm done with shopping for our Thanksgiving dinner and now I am headed to go shopping for the chickens Thanksgiving dinner here at Tractor Supply which is right across the street from Walmart so it is very convenient for me and time to go in here and get some things for the chickens for Thanksgiving for them so I am no longer buying the small bags of feed for the chicken. I'm going to get these um, big 50 pound bags of feed because they are going through food like crazy. And now that the chickens are outside on the grass and they're eating a lot of bugs and grass, I'm going to go ahead and get them some um, chick grit, which gets in their little gobbles and it helps them digest food I don't know all the technical terms but they need this now that they're outside on grass I'm also going to get them some oyster shells and since they're egg laying chicks that gives them extra calcium which helps with their laying eggs and makes the eggs that we are going to eat the shells of them nice and thick and protected and the grit and the oyster shells are going to be like free choice. I'm not going to mix it into their food. I'm just going to put it out there. And if they need it, they will eat it themselves. I'm back from Thanksgiving grocery shopping. And I'm going to show you guys everything that I got from Walmart. And here's everything I purchased from the grocery store. Um, some of the necessities that I need, some different seasonings that I um, needed to replace in the pantry. Um, aluminum foil, ice cream, brown and serve rolls, chicken broth. I have different types of shredded cheese and elbow macaroni because I plan on making macaroni and cheese. Um, smoked turkey necks, carrots, some fresh green beans, avocado oil. Um, I have a lot of items to make cookies from scratch. So I have uh, flour and sugar and brown sugar back here and vanilla and baking soda and butter and milk chocolate chips. However, I do have break and bake cookies, chocolate chip cookies and sugar cookies, just in case I don't feel like making cookies from scratch at least not right now before Thanksgiving. If I don't make them, then of course I'll make them for Christmas, but I do have break and bake just to have a backup in case I don't feel like it, eggs. And then of course it wouldn't be Thanksgiving for our family without some libations. And all of these are just um, inexpensive wine that I got from Walmart. And of course we already have um, wine in our pantry as well, but just a few little items here and then also I have duck so we're having duck for Thanksgiving dinner and we are a small family of three so it doesn't take much to feed our family and we'll probably eat Thanksgiving dinner on Thanksgiving and then we might eat leftovers but this is a six pound duck and I did not purchase this duck today they did not have any duck in the grocery store when I went in the store today actually purchased that duck on Thursday when I was in the grocery store they only had one duck left and I actually was talking to my parents on the phone and I said they only have one duck left y'all think I should get it or no nah, they're gonna get more for Thanksgiving so I asked the guy who worked there if they were gonna get more he pulled out his little computer thing to look he was like well it looks like we probably would and my mom was like uh uh that sound too shaky you might as well go ahead and get that duck right now so I don't know if they did get more duck between Thursday and today which is Tuesday and they just sold it all out or if they never got any more duck but I'm glad I picked up the duck on um Thursday when I went there I mean they still have turkeys and hams and stuff and roasting chickens but we're not a big turkey, big huge turkey for Thanksgiving. I mean, like I said, it's only three of us, so we're gonna have duck, we'll have macaroni and cheese, we'll have string beans, we'll have rice, and um, we'll do roasted carrots, and then we'll have brown and serve rolls and some dessert. So we will eat that probably on Thanksgiving because the duck is six pounds, and then we'll probably eat it the day after Thanksgiving and then be done because 
my Rory's are not big on having to eat leftovers over and over again. We rather just eat our Thanksgiving and be done with it. We're not the type of family that likes to eat on Thanksgiving meal all the way to Christmas. No, that is not for us. But anyways, let me get all of these groceries put up really quickly because we actually have the contractor. He's on the way to um, give us some more information about getting our flooring completed because you guys know we had the water damage. For those who did not see that video, I will leave a link up for it here. And then also after he leaves, I'll do another vlog to let you guys know what has happened between last week, Wednesday, when I updated you guys and today. We've had a lot going on, a lot of changes, uh, some teeny weeny mini disasters in between last week and now, but we're getting it all together. So I will make sure I vlog after the contractor leaves to update you on what's going on with that. And remember, if you haven't already, hit the red subscribe button down below to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future Foster Family Fun videos. Thanks for watching.